All right, so let's look at what we have here. It says solve each expression on an, or show each expression on a number line and solve. Let's start with A. In A, we have two fifths plus one fifth, so we're adding fractions with like denominators. So to represent that on the number line, we have to create a number line, and we'll have our whole values here. We'll start with a zero and a uh, one in this case. And we know that the 0 is equivalent to 0 fifths, and the 1 is equivalent to 5 fifths. Now we need to make 4 lines in between, 4 hash marks. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, they're not as even as I'd like, but that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can see that that makes 5 hops, or 5 increments, so we've divided the uh, distance between our whole numbers, 0 and 1, into 5 equal, or apparently equal parts. So now we're going to represent this on a number line. We'll start at 0 fifths, so we'll go from 0 fifths to 2 fifths. We can label this now 2 fifths. We could have labeled it 2 fifths before. And now we're going to put in 1 fifth, 1 fifth, so that would be 3 fifths. So we're going to label the, each hop 2 fifths, and this one 1 fifth. And we can put the addition sign in between. So 2 fifths plus 1 fifths equals 3 fifths. Let's do the next one, B. I'm going to erase a little bit here. No, apparently I can't erase, so we'll go on. And we will start make this next number line. And we're going to start with, I'm going to label it 0 thirds, and that's the same as 0. And I'm going to have 3 thirds, which is the same as 1. Now since it's thirds, we're going to put two hash marks in between. And again, if we look at that, we have divided the distance between the whole numbers, 0 and 1, into three equal parts. So, let's begin. We'll again change colors for contrast. I go one third, and that brings me to one third. I'm going to go up another one third, and that brings me to two thirds. And that brings me one more third up, and that brings me to three thirds or one. So I can label that three thirds, and three thirds is the same as one. We'll do a few more examples. Uh, we have C. 3 tenths plus 3 tenths plus 3 tenths, and we can kind of look at that as a, another way, just kind of uh, getting into what you're going to see very soon, is I could say that if I'm re adding 3 tenths over again 3 times, I could say that that is 3 times 3 tenths, couldn't I? <clears throat> okay, let's work our number line here. I'll start with 0 tenths. We'll go to ten tenths. We can label the whole values above, zero and one. Now, since I have tenths, I need to make ten equal parts between the zero and the one. So in order to do that, I need to make nine of these hash marks. Hopefully I can make it fairly even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not too bad. All right. So we're going to start at our zero, and we're going to go to three tenths. And we'll label that above, 3 tenths, because that's the distance we went. We're going to go another 3 tenths, label that 3 tenths, and that would bring us to 6 tenths. We'll go another 3 tenths, and that gives us 9 tenths. So the answer is 9 tenths. Uh, I want you to just compare the answer and look at what's going on if we would actually multiply that. You'll see that the denominator stays the same, doesn't it? But the numerator changes. Okay, now we have a little multiplication in the mix here. And I also notice that I am now going to go uh, to a value greater than 1. So I need to make a number line that is going to cover this area. So we're going to have to go past 1. We need to consider that when we make these. So I'm going to start here. 
we know that our denominator is fourths. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to label the whole first zero, one, and two. That'll do it. Now I'm going to make my marks in between. One, two, three. One, two, three. This would be zero fourths. This would be four fourths. And this would be eight fourths. So I'm going to have two times three fourths. What does that mean? It means I'm going to make two hops the distance of three fourths. So I have one, three fourths, and that puts me at three fourths. I'm going to have another three fourths. That puts me at six fourths, and I'm going to go another one fourth, and that brings me to seven fourths. We'll label this again three fourths and this is one fourth. Now what can we say? We can say the value is seven fourths but I can also look at it another way. I could say that I have four fourths, that's one. And how much beyond the one are we going? Well I'm going to go one, two, three. So I could also say that's one and three fourths. Let's look at that yet another way. If I took my 7 fourths and I decomposed it, I could decompose it into 4 fourths, and I could decompose that into uh, 3 fourths, so 3 fourths plus 4 fourths is 7 fourths. I know that my 7 fourths is equal to 1. So that's 1, and what's left over? 3 fourths, 1 and 3 fourths. We'll explore this a little bit more in the next set of problems. It says express each fraction as a sum of two or three equal fractional parts. Rewrite as in the multiplication equation, show part A on the number line. Well, let's take a look at our first fraction. We have six sevenths. What we're going to do with that is decompose it into equal parts. There's a couple ways we could do that. I could decompose that into three sevenths and three sevenths. I could also decompose it into two sevenths, two sevenths, and two sevenths. Okay, so we can rewrite these easily as a multiplication problem. So this would be two times three sevenths. This would be three times two sevenths. Now A is represented on the number line. And I'm just going to pick one of these. I'm going to just pick arbitrarily 2 times 3 sevenths. So I'm going to now write 0 sevenths, and that's 0. I'm going to have 7 sevenths, and that's 1. And I'm going to make 6 marks in between. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now I'm going to have 1 two sevenths or three sevenths and another three sevenths representing two times three sevenths and I should erase that that's not quite right that would make six sevenths so again we'll label these three sevenths and three sevenths and that's two times three sevenths I could have done it just as easily uh, making three hops of two sevenths each if I chose the other B we don't have to make the number line and there's uh, basically one way, I guess I could do more than one way, I could. The most obvious one here is decompose this into equal parts. Three halves plus three halves plus three halves. And that would be three times three halves. Another way to do that, the, the only way it's going to come out evenly is actually to decompose it into nine one-halves, right? So I could have one-half plus one-half plus one-half. I'm going to make an ellipsis, and that'll be one, two, three, and we can go to nine times. And that would be, put the nine down there, and that would be nine times one-half, and that would equal the same thing. Let's finish this up. The next tells us to express each of the following as a sum of a whole number and a fraction. Show parts C and D on number lines. 
Okay. Well, what we want to do here uh, is show this as what you may have learned of as a mixed number. In order to do that, we're going to take a look at our first fraction here. We see that our denominator is 7, so we're going to look for how many 7s there are in uh, 9 sevenths. So that would decompose to 7 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. We know that 7 sevenths equals 1 plus 2 sevenths, okay? And we could write that as 1 and 2 sevenths. Likewise would be, we're going to look for groups of 2. So I can decompose this into 2 halves, 2 halves, 2 halves, and 2 halves, making a total of 8 halves. We have one more half to go. So we now have 2 halves plus 2 halves plus 2 halves plus 2 halves plus 1 half, and we can change these now to ones. And we can find the sum of the whole numbers. 4 plus the fraction, 1 half equals 4 and 1 half. I'm going to do one more example. I'm going to skip D, but I want to show you uh, what we would do on the number line here. We can create a number line, but we can also do our decomposing first, so let's do that. How many 7s are in uh, 32? Well, I could do some division here, and I could think of my multiples of 7. So I have oh, 7 7 that would be 7 7 plus 7 7 that's 14 7 plus 7 7 is 21 7 plus another 7 7 is 28 7 I don't have 35 7 so I need to create a fraction of 28 and 32 of 28 uh, from 32 is 4 7 so again I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 7 which is 4 plus 4 7 which equals 4 and 4 7 okay let's represent that on the number line we're going to have to have a large number line here because we're going to have to go all the way till 5 because we have 4 and 4 7 so I'm going to just label uh, the whole number parts first 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll extend that a little and give us 5. Now what do we have to do here? We have to make our hops. Well, if we're hopping 7 sevenths, right, we are going to hop from 0 to 1. We'll call that 7 sevenths. Make another hop, 7 sevenths. We don't need to make all those marks in between. Another one, 7 sevenths. And the last one, 7 sevenths. Now, between 4 and 5, we do have to mark it uh, into uh, fractional parts. So, since it's sevenths, I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 marks. We're going to go 7 sevenths, plus 7 sevenths, plus 7 sevenths, plus 7 sevenths, plus 4 sevenths. And, again, we could say that that is we look at our whole value here. We have our 4 plus 4 sevenths equals 4 and 4 sevenths.